Hey there everybody, got an unboxing to do today, these just came in the mail. Uh, they're both from different places, but they arrived in the same exact boxes on the same exact day. So let's cut into these and see what we got, got here today. Alright, I got the first one opened and this is what's inside. A three foot section of one and a half inch manila rope and the reason I purchased this is because it makes a great fire starter these little threads and for future knife reviews I also wanted to cut some of it just to show like how sharp some of my blades were but Figured I would get a hunk of this. You can order it by the foot, and that's what I did. So that's one and a half inch manila rope. And now let's get to the real unboxing here. Okay, we got this open. Let's see what's in here. And what do we have here? It says down under knives walk about okay this is the lid okay, let's see here this is what you get inside apparently it looks just like the knife and the sheaths are packaged separately, so let's get these open and see what we got going here. Okay, there we go. There's the sheath and some little pieces of bone decoration on it. it has faux alligator skin there. It's fairly thick, not super heavy, but it feels thick. It feels like a decent sheath. Got some design there on the belt loop. Got some nice rivets on it. And it's gonna snap, putting the knife in. Okay, that's nice thick leather. And then you get a sharpening steel with it. Let me pull that out. Okay, so there's the sharpening steel. It's got, I want to let you see the designs on it, if you can see that. I don't know if it's showing up too good. Decent little sharpening steel, though. It has its own little, like, holder there for it. So that's cool. Okay, here's the knife. You're going to see it first just like me I have it in a piece of paper there got the solid brass guard and the solid brass butt cap and these aren't just plated these are solid brass it's got a lot of weight I can feel the weight of this knife right off the bat it's got a nice belly in the handle the handle actually fits my hand I was worried that it was going to be a little too small but it's actually decent but let's see what the blade looks like. Okay. Hey, that's not bad looking. Look at that. Hey, what's this side look like? shabby at all. That's a beautiful knife. You can see about how thick it is. It's about, oh, about probably about, I don't know, maybe close to a quarter. Probably just shy of a quarter inch thick. It's got a false edge swedge on the top there. Nice big belly. Look at the belly on that thing. 
for this for it not being a huge knife that's actually a really nice belly on it okay try to get a better look at this this side of the blade doesn't say anything there's no writing on this side at all beautiful mirror finish though it's got like a blood groove on it it's got like just enough uh, guard here to protect your finger from slipping forward and let's see what it says on the blade here if we can read it it says down under knives walkabout TM That is really gorgeous knife. It looks like it's laser straight. I don't see any like off kilterness to it or anything. This is all a leather handle. The brass looks really good. It's not all scratched up or messed up. It's just like a soft kind of brushed brass finish feels good in the hand I gotta admit it's a, for my hand this is a really good fit got a nice butt cap there for if you need the hammer things but let's see, check this out so here's about the size of it it's with the belly like the curve on the blade you're looking at about eight inches for the blade and about four and a half inches for the handle. And this is the walkabout. It's smaller than the uh, Outback knife from Down Under Knives, which is, I think it has something like a 15 inch blade. So this is a little more realistic for the purposes that I would need. It's only an eight inch blade. And that's decent because I didn't want some like massive machete sized Bowie knife on my side. Okay, we're going to do a paper cut test. This is straight out of the box. Let's see how sharp this is. Seems to be pretty sharp. Definitely a sharp knife. No issues at all. So definitely it's sharp. Okay, we'll try to put this in the sheath now. I don't want to touch the blade because it's so sharp and I only got one hand here. So let's see. Push that down in. And then you got the snap. Here, let me push this in a little farther. All right. It's buckled in there. Nice snug fit. I'm really liking how this looks. The handle looks great. Okay, uh, I actually ordered mine off of eBay. Uh, the seller's store is Knife Guy 78. He got this to me within three days and he was easy to deal with, and he was the most affordable out of everybody that I could find for these down under knives. His prices were the best, and these are authentic. They're not knockoffs or anything. So if you want to get one or if you want to get any of their knives, go to Knife Guy 78 on eBay, and you might as well get the best price you can get, and he has the best price, so... There you have it. Now, one thing that kept me from purchasing one of these knives for quite a few years is that it is full tang, but it turns into like a little bit of a screw right here, and then this butt cap screws on. And I've never been a fan of that. I always think that that's a weak point. I would have rather just had a solid piece of thick metal through the entire handle with like a couple pins and then that issue could have been completely resolved 
It may not have been quite as beautiful as this knife had that been done, but still, I think it would have been worth it for the added like strength it would have gave because if there is a weak point in this knife, it's going to be right here, right where the butt cap meets. And another reason is I'm not a super big fan of stainless steel knives. I usually tend to gravitate more towards high carbon steel knives. But this is 440 uh, surgical steel, stainless steel, and the difference between this is, is that it's supposed to be heat treated, and the blade is treated at a different heat than the top is treated. So this should maintain a wicked sharp edge for even through a lot of abuse. And I mean, hell heat treated 440 stainless steel with a mirror finish I mean you don't just find that everywhere you know this this definitely I'm probably not going to do a lot of batoning with this knife and that's the reason I one of the reasons I picked up the smaller walkabout knife here was because the longer you get stainless steel the more apt it is to have a weak spot or break or be a little brittle, especially if you're batoning with it or if you're chopping real hard wood with it. Whereas like the shorter length blade here should put substantially less pressure because there isn't so much blade out here on this back uh, screw piece here. So it's still this full tang. It's got a heat treated stainless steel blade. I mean, this is definitely a rare knife and it feels freaking great in the hand so i'm actually glad i got it and i'll use it for some bushcraft and things like that but i probably won't it won't be my go-to knife for like batoning real tough wood i'll try to treat it a little better than that but uh this is joe doomsday signing out and don't forget i got this from knife guy 78 on ebay